everyone it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening I hope you're doing fantastic and we're gonna be talking about what is happening across the North Atlantic with Philippe as well as 91 L but Philippe is going to be the main focus of this evening update so let us get straight into it moving on to the satellite imagery at a wide view there you can see uh, Philippe as well as 91 L some more activity out there that in the Eastern Caribbean in association with an upper level low which has been impacting sections of the lesser antilles even going up to puerto rico and the virgin islands as well and then over in the western caribbean a tropical wave is in the area so that is helping to enhance all the moisture instability and eventually we see these thunderstorms brewing and over in the west we definitely want to be on the lookout for something spinning up the uh, cmc the canadian model has been quite consistent about that potentially happening and uh, to bring on even more confidence about this the update is in from the climate prediction center the global tropics has outlook map and there we have that red and white striped area indicating that low chance of seeing development within the week of the 4th to the 10th of October as well as the 11th to the 17th so we can see here that we've got this area over in parts of the southern Gulf the Bay of Campeche and the Western Caribbean being highlighted so that is definitely where we want to take our attention and uh, also this is the typical place to see systems originate so that green shade in there represents where we typically find most of these systems that are active in the month of October so we'll definitely have to pay attention to these areas and even off the southeastern coast as well with these dissipating frontal systems there can also be some sort of development with leftover moisture from those fronts and I also want to bring you guys back to this map here because some drier conditions are only going to persist for some areas so the 4th to the 10th this week here across sections of northern South America there will be drier than normal conditions which is what that brown shade and indicates and then as we go to the uh, later down head into the middle part of the month we can see that this area here extends a bit up north into the Windward Islands, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados so uh, that is something on the horizon so unfortunately drier than normal conditions are probable not saying there won't be any rainfall but the typical rainfall activity observed will likely be decreased. But now let us go ahead and move on to our active tropical storm as well as 91L. There hasn't been much of a change, so it isn't improving much because of proximity to Philippe. So the systems are quite close. As a matter of fact, this would look like a whole thing if you didn't know what was happening out there. But they're actually two separate areas. We've got tropical storm Philippe, which is still fighting that wind shear. And eventually it will enter a drier environment as well. So that should all help to induce some slow, gradual weakening. But with that happening, there is going to be that threat or that possibility of tropical storm impacts in parts of the northeastern Caribbean the northern leeward islands the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico should be on watch and this is stated by the National Hurricane Center so uh, if it is that the system is likely to hold together as a tropical storm then those watches would be out maybe tomorrow or on Friday we'll have to wait and see for that but if you're in any of those areas please be on watch and if you know that you live in an area which inundates or floods easily whenever it rains heavily now is the time to have those plans on standby because you do not want to be in such a vulnerable location should there actually be a lot of heavy rain on the horizon so there could be some flooding i'm not seeing it will happen for sure but as i said if it is going to be sustaining itself then those impacts will likely take place now as it relates to the latest cone forecast here you can see that it is getting so wide uh to the latter part of it so for the next three days and then beyond that look at how wide the cone of uncertainty is that is because the center can pass anywhere within it and not necessarily follow along with the current forecast track that is bound to change and models are kind of all over the place with this we'll go on to that in a moment but as of now Philippe is sustaining those 50 mile per hour winds and those tropical storm force winds are on the eastern side so again the wind shear is taking its toll so the system is actually very lopsided right now and it is moving to the west northwest at five miles per hour so it's moving pretty slowly here it's not a fast moving system so it could eventually enter the Caribbean as a post tropical cyclone what happens afterwards is uncertain and this is the most spaghetti I've seen the models in quite some times with our systems because take a look at this they're all over the place showing different possible outcomes but bottom line it is likely that there will be impacts in the northeastern islands although not guaranteed and uh, Philippe could impact either as a tropical cyclone or as just a trough and 
open trough of low pressure which might have some activity still in association with it and induce some inclement weather conditions so this is definitely something to watch and then in regards to uh, all that expected or that possible rainfall activity there have been many islands especially in the northeastern caribbean longing for some substantial rainfall so this would be some good news in that sense however a lot of heavy rainfall can induce that flooding even mudslides as well so that is going to be a possibility should the system sustain itself enough and as for 91L, it is developing rather slowly again. Proximity to Philippe has resulted in the system not being able to really get itself together. That's good. But the formation chance through both 48 hours and the next seven days remains high at 90%. So that is what is to note with it. And if it is close enough to the Caribbean, then it could induce some impacts. But that is not a guarantee either. So we have to keep our eyes on these systems. And that is why I'm here to keep you guys posted. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But as usual, if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments and you can share your thoughts there as well and as always remember to be weatherwise